the MTC was the hardest part of my mission and it was, I never anticipated it being that way. Um, and the reason why is because I had my hard companion right out of the gates. My very first companion was my most challenging. Um, and so I was in the MTC and before I entered the MTC, I hadn't given a single thought to my companions and like dealing with them. I feel like I'm a pretty friendly person. I can get along with just about anyone. And I was confident in that, but Heavenly Father <laughs> found the one person who would test me in every way. Um, and so not only was it challenging being in the MTC where, um, I would say that the MTC is a refiner's fire if I've ever felt one and where it literally burns the world out of you <laughs> in preparation for sending you out and being a representative of Christ. And it's so hard, but it's so worth it. And you feel, I think I grew more in the nine weeks that I was in the MTC than any other period of that amount of time in my life. It was just so intense and so concentrated. Um, and it's, it's a mix of emotions because I love the MTC and there's not, it has such a special spirit to be surrounded by all of these people who have been chosen and set apart and who are worthy to represent Christ. Um, and I loved the devotionals and I loved my teachers and I loved learning Japanese in that environment. I took to it really well. Um, it wasn't like Japanese wasn't my struggle, but even all that aside, like just having the difficult companion, difficult companion, um, at the very beginning of my mission was challenging. And so it just all kind of came together in this way that ended up being so beneficial to me. And it was hard, probably one of the hardest times in my life. Um, but I grew so much. I remember thinking when I was in the MTC that I had come on my mission and, you know, you'd read Doctrine and Covenants chapter four and you're like, I think I've got those things. Like I have faith and I love people and like, I can do that. I have those qualities, but it wasn't until I was in the MTC and when I was put in that situation that I realized that, you know what, I don't, not to the degree that I need or want it, but it wasn't a sad thought to me because Heavenly Father helped me to realize that and then he qualified me and he took me and he took whatever raw material I was and I had and he took it and he refined it into those qualities that I needed to have. And it became, it was so gratifying regardless of how hard it was to be in that situation. It was so, it was such an amazing blessing to be in that place where all that I could do was rely on the Lord and let him grow me. And he did. And it made the MTC probably one of the most life-changing aspects of my mission.